Welcome back everyone to the Late Night Show with me, Dick Clark. Tonight we have a very special guest, who wrote many poems during the period known as the Harlem Renaissance, or the emergence of black culture in America. Hey thanks for having me Dick. Let me introduce myself. I am the late great Count T. Cullen, the famous poet and survivor of tuberculosis. Wait, did you say late? Does that mean you dead? Like a ghost or something? Hectares ha ha not quite. I am a vampire. But that is irrelevant. Please, let us continue this interview. I don't think I want to continue the interview. Booga booga booga. Now, pay attention. I was born in the year 1903, in Louisville, Kentucky, and was adopted in 1918. But ever since I became tied with the Harlem Renaissance I would tell others I am from New York. That's quite interesting. Tell us, how did you contribute to the Harlem Renaissance? I am an author, poet, and playwright. Many writers like me submitted work that helped develop the Renaissance into the massive movement it later became. Would you like to hear some of my more popular works? I would love to. This piece is one of my most popular ones. Titled The Incident, Once Riding in Old Baltimore, Heart Filled, Head Filled with Glee. I saw a Baltimorean, keep looking straight at me. Now I was eight and very small, and he was no bit bigger. And so I smiled, but he poked out his tongue, and called me, nigger. I saw the whole of Baltimore, from May until December. Of all the things that happened there, that's all that I remember. Thank you for that. This poem was a great insight on racial tensions in Baltimore. I can't imagine what it was like facing discrimination like that. How did you cope with it? Exactly as I have shown you. My exposure to racism, even at such an early age, inspired me to express myself through literary works such as poetry. That was what the Harlem Renaissance was all about. Why is the Harlem Renaissance significant in our history? Why should I care about what happened almost a century ago? It was the first movement led by African Americans to advance their social status and challenge Jim Crow stereotypes. Without it, the groundwork for the civil rights movement may have never been laid. Not to mention your favorite music genres, like rap and rock and roll may not even exist. Black musicians like Louis Armstrong and Billie Holiday paved the way to modern musical entertainment. No way, that is pretty radical view. Why did you become involved with this movement? Growing up, I attended dominantly white schools and did exceptionally well. Seeing how I have done as well or better than many whites in school, it helped fuel my desire to make a difference. But I still maintained a realistic vision of the times. I encouraged many fellow artists to avoid some realities, out of fear that it will strengthen white bitterness and ultimately work against our cause. That is an interesting way to put it. I never considered that. Not many people did. But I still confronted the injustices my people would face. This is evident in my poem The Ballad of a Brown Girl. With two white roses on her breast. White candles at her head and feet, dark Madonna of the grave she rests. Lord Death has found her sweet. Her mother pawned her wedding ring, to lay her out in white. She'd be so proud she'd dance and sing to see herself tonight. Wow! That is unbelievable. I also noticed how you used a metaphor to describe the girl as a dark Madonna. The end rhymes help the flow of it too. And to think, men and women like you helped change the injustice of American society. That was our goal, and I am proud to say I was a part of it. If you wish to read more of my works I would suggest my collections including On These I Stand or Care Rolling Dusk. Thanks for your time Mr. Cullen. I will be sure to go to my local library and take out books on you and the Harlem Renaissance. Anytime my brother from another mother. Well that's all for tonight folks. Tune in tomorrow night for Charlie Sheen's guest appearance.